After the death of his father, Hafez al-Assad, on June 10, 2000, the constitution of Syria was altered. The minimum age for the presidency was changed from 40 to 34. Assad was confirmed as Syria's president on July 10 with 97.29% support for his leadership. Along with this, he was appointed the commander-in-chief of the Syrian Armed Forces and regional secretary of the Ba'ath Party. To establish his credentials with the military, Bashar entered the military academy at Homs in 1994, and was thrown through the ranks to become a colonel of the Syrian Republican Guard in January 1999. To establish a power base for Bashar in the military, the old commanders were pushed into retirement, and new officers with loyalties to him were brought in to replace them. On the 27th of May 2007, Assad was approved for another seven-year term in a referendum on his presidency, with 97.6% of the votes supporting his continued presidency. Opposition parties were not allowed in the country and Assad was the only candidate in the referendum. Al-Assad means the lion in Arabic. Assad's paternal grandfather, Ali Suleiman al-Assad, had changed his status from peasant to minor notable, and in 1927 he changed the family name from Wash, meaning savage, to al-Assad. Assad graduated from the Medical School of Damascus University in 1988, and began to work as a doctor for the Syrian army. In 1992, he attended postgraduate studies at the Western Eye Hospital in London, specializing in ophthalmology. In November 2015, Assad said that a diplomatic process to bring the country's civil war to an end could not begin while it was occupied by terrorists. It's not clear whether he meant ISIS or the Western supported rebels. Unlike his siblings, Bashar was quiet, reserved and lacked interest in politics or the military. He was described as soft-spoken. According to a university friend, he was timid, avoided eye contact and spoke in a low voice. After his brother Basil al-Assad died in a car crash in January 1994, Bashar was recalled to Syria to take over Basil's role as heir to his father's presidency.